My current weather app says it's 10 degrees out, uh, dew points uh, 5 degrees, it's 73% relative humidity, and uh, it's about 10.30 in the morning. And we're going to look under this top cover real quickly because it's kind of cool outside just to see how much moisture accumulated over the night with not having any insulation between the inner cover and the top cover. So we'll take a quick look and we'll see yeah quite a bit of moisture you can see under there um, you know dripping down above the uh, the central cluster but yeah quite a bit of moisture in there so we're gonna do another video uh, and try to catch a morning with similar conditions uh, and use some insulation or to keep the inner cover from cooling at night and moisture condensing on it. Okay, so here we are next day and it's seven degrees outside, 2.5, 88% humidity. So it's a little cooler, a little bit more humid, but uh, we're gonna see if this hive, that I put some bubble wrap on the inner cover. I put two layers of bubble wrap on it. Let's take a look. So just with two layers of bubble wrap, even at cooler temperature and higher humidity, quite a bit less. And it's not centered on the cluster. Just kind of shows you that uh, just by putting a little bit of insulation on your the top of your hive mat inner cover, that uh, you can keep a lot of condensation from dripping directly down onto a cluster. All right. All right, so here we are in front of the hive and uh, temperature outside eight degrees, dew point seven, uh, three. 71% relative humidity. So very similar conditions to not uh, the day we didn't have any uh, insulation above the inner cover hive mat. And on this one, we're going to see what the moisture, the condensation on the inner cover looks like when we use a one inch piece of polystyrene. So let's take off the uh, top cover. And you can see a one inch piece of simple polystyrene. What is that, 25 mil? And we'll see what the moisture content under here is. Well, you can see it's quite dry. Just a little bit of moisture on this top part right here, of, uh, just along the wall. The other wall has just a little bit as well, but the central part of the top inner the central part of the inner cover or hive mat is quite dry it's actually even a little bit drier than the uh, two layers of bubble wrap okay so that's uh, three types of ins or two types of insulation uh, above the inner cover hive mat and it looks like polystyrene does pretty good so um, Hope this was informative. Again, I'm not one to wrap the entire hive. I think that's a little bit much. But by just taking a simple piece of really any type of insulation and insulating the very top of the hive can do quite a bit to keep condensation from forming above them and dripping down into the brood chamber. All right. Well, have a nice day. Kissy boots!